Did you know that watching videos on YouTube is the easiest and the fastest way to make money on the YouTube platform? Oh yeah. Yes, I made $280 from just one video that I watched here on YouTube. And I'm not joking. I'm talking serious business here. If you want to be making way over that amount and for every single video that you watch on YouTube, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Let's relax and let's talk. Hello and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amazing Grace Daniel. Okay, starting off, watching videos on YouTube is one way to make money. Yes, on YouTube. In fact, it's by far the easiest way to make money on the YouTube platform. I started making money on YouTube just by watching videos and earning in return. You will be wondering, I've been watching videos all this while. And yet, I haven't been able to make money at all. I didn't even know I could make money from watching videos. Yes, you can. I'm yet to prove that to you. Like how Ella said, I started making money on YouTube by watching a video and earning in return. So how did I go about what was the distance between the watching and the part where I earned money, and you want to know how that, that came about. So I'm going to start with the first video I watched and how I was able to make money on YouTube. One way YouTube, or should I say the most popular way YouTube provides for people to make money, that's the YouTube platform itself, is for people to post videos, get views, get monetized, hit a certain qualification which is 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours so if you hit 1000 subscribers and you have 4000 watch hours you get monetized on the youtube platform that's the criteria okay now that is one way that youtube makes it easy for people to make money now you can use that flip it off by watching a video and guess what just by watching a video, you get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours by just watching. Oh yes, all you need to have is a YouTube channel, which is so easy to have. Once you have a Gmail account, you actually can get a YouTube channel. So let me start with, I started YouTube years ago and I kept struggling on YouTube. I struggled to hit my monetization qualification on another YouTube channel that I had. I woke up one morning, opened this particular YouTube channel and started watching videos i came across one video that transformed my life wow how did that happen this video is from a content creator called messi chingwo official on youtube that's her youtube name she is a gospel artist a nigerian gospel artist based in nigeria and she has a lot of numbers of subscribers okay and one of the videos that she posted that made me to get my 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours was this video. Yes. How she announced that she was getting married, her engagement proposal, and everything about it. As soon as that video dropped on YouTube, I watched it. When I was done, I downloaded the video. After downloading the video, I broke the video into bits, took out the most important part, and reacted to the video. Yeah. That's what I did. Literally. That's what I mean. So, I broke the video into parts, downloaded it. If you want to download a video from YouTube direct to your phone, that's not so hard. All you have to do is copy the link on the, of the video on YouTube. By clicking the share button, it will show you different places you can browse Click YouTube download. There are different YouTube downloading sites. You click on any of them, put the link, then you can download the video. That's what I did. Once I was done doing that, I broke the video into parts, just picked out a few excerpts of the video, came back and did a reaction. I didn't even have to show my face in that video. Oh no, it was a faceless reaction 
of me doing the exact same thing that she did so what i did was to re-announce her engagement do you get it so i went ahead and like re-announced the engagement so she announced it i came back and did what re-announced it re-announced the engagement and put the videos together on my editing app i use the InShot app once i was done i posted the video on youtube and guess what i did i was done with everything in give or take an hour in one hour yes i was done downloading taking the parts that were necessary and i just took a few a few clips okay then did some narrations inside faceless because i did, i wasn't even in the in the place where i could set up a camera and and start getting all made up i didn't have that time okay it had to be posted immediately because i know people who watch her video to watch my immediately after okay so once that was done i quickly took the excerpt did a few narrations in between explained a few things and make it so easy put the videos together on the InShot app when i was done um editing it i took it put it on my channel and guess what while she hit one million plus views i had one hundred thousand plus views almost 10 percent of what she had at the end of the day and guess what that single video made me hit my monetization qualification on youtube one hour i was done i didn't get to do much you can go check that video out it made me hit a hundred and twenty thousand views on youtube wow in 48 hours i was monetized as a result of does that video that video was about five minutes plus long that's all and i didn't get to do so much for it now this is a trick when you want to react to content creators so you can get views and make money in return the first thing you need to do is to look for a content creating platform that has a good number of subscribers and consistent numbers of views so those same viewers on that platform get to watch you on your platform the same people once you have once they click her video yours comes as a suggestion suggestive video that's why you post it as soon as it is posted so as soon as that person posts it you need to react immediately so that your video can pop up first okay because youtube um, suggests your videos your videos downward once people are able to click your video that was suggested under that video youtube starts recommending it on their browse features is that simple it's not difficult that wasn't all guess what i went ahead to do a follow-up on that video seeing that people were interested in the re-announcement that i brought out so what did i do i simply went ahead to give a biography of who her husband to be was the man who engaged her her fiance or uh, fiance sorry rather who engaged her i did a little bit of research on who he was did a lot of you know googling here and there went to his went to his instagram checked out who he really is and gave a detailed biography on who he is because a lot of people wanted to know who is this artist that they've loved so much they listen to so much who is she getting married to what does he do where did he school everything about him i did that research and came back and did a narration as a follow-up on that video seeing that i had already gotten 100,000 plus views from the first video so one video i reacted twice first reaction was just to re-announce the second reaction was taking a step further to do a biography on that person wow and that video currently is sitting at a hundred and twenty nine thousand views so they came back the same people who watched the first time came back to watch the second time and guess what i got paid for that video because that was the first video that i posted after getting monetized and youtube paid me 280 dollars for just that single video just that single video i got 280 dollars for it you can see it on the screen very easy very simple that's it 
those videos, the first video took me about an hour. The second video took me quite a while to put together because I had to do a, a bit of a research. And that took me, say, 24 hours. I was done with my research. Just put, put my research down, my notes, because I had to make sure I had the right information. Okay? And once I was done with the notes, editing that second video didn't take me. At most 30, 30 to 45 minutes, I was done. And after that, I posted the video on YouTube. And yes, I earned myself a $280. Not just that, for every single video I posted after I was making money on YouTube. Reacting on content on YouTube is not a new thing. But what do you react to? What kind of content creators do you react to? What kind of content platform do you react to? You can react to movie and TV series that are on YouTube. A lot of people see series and movie series. They would like people that have like minds with them. So you could find a TV series, a movie series on YouTube that is on YouTube, very particular about that, that is on YouTube that, you know what, has a lot of views, a lot of following, so that people who watch that content will watch yours once yours pops up as a suggestive video. So you can either criticize or support that series you can always have something to say about that series you can give a review you can give expectations or whatnot about a popular tv series or movie series that you like you can go from movie series to talking about um beauty celebrities and travel content creators different things different things you have been watching you can even react to other content creators doing the same thing that you love it's that simple you can just watch videos come back when you're done, download the videos, create excerpt of the videos, and re narrate what they said, supporting their motion or coming against their motion. But you have to be careful. If you try to come against people's motion, you can get a report for it. So try to be very, should I call it, uh, diplomatic when you're reacting to content on YouTube. Secondly, you don't just take um, the whole video, just post it, you're going to get copyright claims or even a copyright strike so to avoid that you just take excerpt of a video you can take pictures from google make sure to crop the pictures because some of these pictures may be subject to copyright if you click uh, images on google you see them say so what you do to avoid copyright from those pictures is to crop them when you save a picture on google what you do is to crop that picture and then you can use the picture and do your narration in between the excerpt of that video. So you can do faceless content where no one even knows what you look like, where you're from, where you're just posting content. You can do voiceovers on it and have people from these other platforms, people who watch them, to watch yours. It's easier to grow on YouTube when you are reacting to content creators who have already done the job. They do the work. Yours is just to react and start cashing out and start making the money. Yes, that's it. That's all I had to do to get $280 from just one video. The third point is that you have to make sure you get people to watch you on time. Meaning, you have to be one of the first few people to review that content or to react to that content. So you don't wait till the next day or two days after to react to it because people would have done the same. You're not the only one who's doing it. So what you do is the moment a content drops, you're there. That's why you have, you have the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that when the content drops, you get notified, you watch the video, and you come again and do your own review, reaction, or narration or criticism or, or whatever whatever you can just put things together you know but you need to come in as quick as possible so that once that person posts the video within the first four or five hours youtube is suggesting your video to that same audience that that person had so it's very important that you are there immediately fourth point i mentioned earlier is that if you want to download a video there are different platforms to download videos with okay and you find them as websites on any browser you are using you just click the share button from a video on youtube take the link 
take it to your browser and then type youtube downloader you will get to see different youtube downloaders you can click the first one i the one here is y2 mate downloader you click you paste your link or your all and then it shows you the video you can now decide to download the video depending on the quality of the version you want to download it with once you're done doing that you take it to your editing app i recommend the eShot app it's what i use to edit my videos it's very simple easy to understand it's not hard you take it there and then you do what you have to do once you're done you save your video bring it back here to youtube and upload it it's that simple another point is that you won't just be reacting to just one content creator or one platform no try and react to so many content platforms that way you get audience from different places like if you're reacting to just one person or one content platform you're going to always wait till that particular content creator post a video and if that person doesn't post a video in a week or maybe in a few days you are you are contentless and that's not right so if you have like six to seven or eight content creators that you are reacting to you can post videos every single day or two or three times a day and you can make 280 dollars three times a day that's about how much i'm just saying 280 dollars because that's how much you to pay me youtube could pay you more depending on where your viewers are watching you from six points you can earn as much as a thousand dollars 280 dollars is just for that video that i posted and that's because of the audience of where that video um, i got from that video that audience was greatly from the audience that watched her that's the person who i reacted to her audience were mainly from nigeria and so i on the other hand got audience her audience from nigeria watching me and for that reason my cpm and my rpm was really low i'm going to show you on the screen so you can see my cpm was really low my rpm was really low and that's because of the audience she had so if you want audience with higher cpms and rpms then you react to content creators who are based in our countries with higher cpms and rpms countries like the united states of america canada uk france germany australia these are countries that have higher cpm and higher pay so if you want more money as much as a thousand dollars then you go for content creators who are based in these countries and most likely have audience from these countries so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching if there's any questions you have do well to leave it in the comment section don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and please do me the honors by dropping a comment i'll see you in my next one my name is amazing grace daniel bye